Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing my TBR for the 2017 Booktubeathon. So the Booktubeathon starts tomorrow. It'll be today when you see this, but for me it's tomorrow. Did not know that. I was not originally planning on participating in the Booktubeathon just because I'm kind of getting out of a reading slump and I don't normally do readathons. Booktubeathon is really the only one that I participate in, and I was like, I don't know if I'm feeling it this year. But then I was watching everyone else's TBRs and I was wondering why they were doing them so early, and then I I realized that the booktubeathon starts on the 24th and it's the 23rd so I thought I was like deciding with enough time to like finish my current read and get started but no that's not what happened so here I am thinking that I'm not gonna be busy for the whole booktubeathon I won't be working because I thought I started on like Thursday for some reason but no it starts on Monday and I'm working Monday Tuesday Wednesday but I'm still going to try and do it I'm doing this very low pressure I'm just gonna do what I can do and not pressure myself I'm hoping to read like four books I feel like that will be good I don't know if I'll get to the seven that is part of the challenges by the way if you guys are familiar with booktubeathon should have gotten to that earlier but it's a biannual readathon hosted by Ariel Bissett I'll have links for all the stuff down below if I remember hopefully I do at least the YouTube channel I will link down below but it's been going on for a few years now and it has different challenges so it has video challenges and it has reading challenges I'm only going to be participating in the reading challenges I'm not going to be doing the video challenges but I will be doing a reading vlog and I will upload that at the end of the booktubeathon and I'm actually going to try and start doing weekly reading vlogs all the time now so this will kind of be a nice trial run for that. But my TBR for this readathon is extremely arbitrary because I have no clue what I want to read so I have many options for the challenges and I'm going to go through them all with you now. So first off I really want to try and finish my current read today so that I can just start the booktubeathon with a clean slate so I'm currently reading Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it today because I'm on page 162 and the booktubeathon starts at midnight and it's like six o'clock now and I have to edit this and stuff and ooh, I don't know if that's gonna happen but I'm really going to try and get through this. It is really good so far it's just it's quite long so don't know if that will happen but hopefully. But getting to the challenges, challenge number one is to read a book with a person on the cover which is so hard to find in the YA world she said sarcastically because so many books have people on the covers but I decided to go with The Wonder of Us by Kim Culbertson. All I know about this is that it's about two best friends and they go on a trip across Europe which I'm all about European travel books right now. You guys probably know if you've been following my Goodreads or anything like that. That's been like my main read recently ever since I left for my trip even before my trip that's all I was reading but this one has two people on the cover so killing it. Challenge number two is to read a hyped book which I have four options for. So option number one is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is very hyped up and I'll probably listen to the audiobook for it if I decide to read this one. Very apprehensive about it but I've heard amazing things. Option number two is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard book two, The Hammer of Thor. This one I would also probably listen to on audiobook and I'm actually thinking about if I don't end up reading it I'll probably unhaul it. I just don't think I really have interest in the series anymore so this is kind of on its last leg. I think that's really not the saying I wanted to say but you get what I mean it's almost it's on the chopping block that's what I was looking for and option number three is the Wizard of Oz by L Frank Baum this is deceiving because it looks like it's very long it's actually the first like the first hundred pages of this so it's not too long and once again I would probably listen to the audiobook but this is definitely very hyped up I mean I would say it's a classic it's been around for forever and option number four is one that I'm too lazy to get off of the top of my shelf but it is rereading Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by JK Rowling I have really wanted to reread the Harry Potter series as of late for whatever reason so I might end up doing that who really knows but that one I would actually physically read rather than listen to an audiobook for challenge number Number three is to finish a book in one day and there are quite a few books on my TBR that I could do that with or at least quite a few books on my arbitrary TBR that I could do that with but the one that I chose specifically for this challenge is Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. I feel like this is gonna be pretty quick. It's actually almost 300 pages which surprised me because it looks so short which I mean 300 pages is short and under 300 pages is obviously short but I thought this was like just over 200 but I still feel like it'll be a really easy one to read in one day and just kind of 
to sit down and read it all in one sitting, hopefully. Challenge number four is to read a book with a character that is very different from you, which is super interesting, and I have two options for this one. So option number one is American Street by Ibi Zoboy. This is about a Haitian immigrant to America. And then option number two is The Education of Margot Sanchez by Lilium Rivera. This one, I'm not really too sure what it's about. I believe it's about a main character who's super, super rebellious, which isn't me. Like, I was rebellious at one point in my life, but never this rebellious. So it's definitely not me. Challenge number five is to read a book completely outdoors. And I have three options for this one. So the first option is Umberland by Wendy Spinelli. This one's super short, which is what I went for with this challenge, because who wants to spend that much time outside? Not me, because the sun and the elements, and I'm not ready for that life. So this one, I believe, would be very quick. I read the first one, and it was pretty quick, so I think this might be a good pick. And option number two is We Are All Made of Molecules by Susan Nielsen. This is like 250 or something pages. It's not very long at all, so this would be a good one as well. And even better is The Hunting of the Snark by Lewis Carroll. I surprisingly haven't read this yet. I don't know why, but it's poems, so it's very, very quick, and it has lots of illustrations in it as well, so I think this would also be a great one, and this is kind of the one that I'm leaning towards. It just depends on what the weather's like, if it's super humid, or if it's rainy, or how I'm feeling. Do I want to go outside? Probably not, so this would probably be my pick. Challenge number six is to read a book that you bought specifically because of its cover, and this one was super easy to choose for because this book I definitely bought just because of the cover. I hardly even know anything about the synopsis, but that's fine. I'm okay with that, and that is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. This cover is just absolutely phenomenal. Like, I'm obsessed with it. All the covers for this trilogy are incredible and I love them so much. Like, this would be my dream cover designer because it's just so gorgeous. And finally, challenge number seven is to read seven books. So you kind of just pick whatever seventh book you want. And I decided to go with The Romantics by Leah Conan. This will be a super quick read, I feel like. It just seems like it's gonna be quirky, cute, fun, and fast, which is perfect for a readathon. And it's just a romance story that's told from the perspective of romance, which just seems awesome. So I'm all about that life. So that is my TBR for the 2017 book Tubathon. Let me know if you guys are planning on participating, what's on your TBR, or because this is going up on the first day of book Tubathon, let me know what you have been reading for book Tubathon and how you've been doing so far. And if you guys wanted to keep up with how I've been doing as the book Tubathon is going on, you can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Hales and Bookland. It's not Haley and Bookland because that was too many characters stupid Twitter, but it is linked down below for you guys so you can go and check that out. And I'll also probably be updating my Instagram story and stuff like that. I like doing that a lot. And then if you don't care as it's going on, I will have a vlog up at the end as long as I do end up reading and do end up participating. But we shall see how this goes. This could be quite interesting. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!